It's not bad. It's actually better quality than I thought it was going to be. Is that a Mrs. Albie, though? Mrs. Albie, I would recognize you anywhere. Uh-oh, what did Noah find? What'd you find? And then, that is a left an egg. Hey, do we have a... Oh, oh, he's articulated. Oh, <gasps> they're like, oh, yes it is. It's uh, Justin Austin. It's Oh, it's an Austin Productions. Ooh. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It is senior day here in Las Vegas. He's not a senior, but he I'm gets not. the benefit of uh, shopping with me on senior day. We are at Noah's favorite Goodwill. Pretty much, yeah. The boutique. The boutique. The boutique where he finds cool things for his room and he's got a few more things to find. So here he is with me at the Deja Blue Boutique here in Las Vegas. All right, Noah. Let's get shop done. Wow, you jumped right to it. Yeah, let's get shop done. All right. Halloween is in the air. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. All right, we're going in. Lucky cart. There's our lucky. How many? How many today, Noah? Probably two. Two. Okay. All right. We got a we got a few spider webs over here, and zombies under the table. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my 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 my. He's kind of cute. I kind of like him. There's nothing too spectacular. Team in training. I think all the stores are in, in a little contest. You didn't mention that on the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so. I like that, that's funny. They're competing, that's pretty funny. That's pretty, that's pretty funny. He's digging right into the candles. Right into the candles. What is that one? It smells like peppermint. Tis the season. Oh, it's Bath and Body Works. Hmm. It's a good brand. Oh, I can smell that, like without even getting close to it. Look at this. That is a candle. Now it's a dish. How much are you? $12.99. Mine is 40%. Oh, it's pretty awesome. I do like this piece. I like this piece a lot. Okay, let's put that in the cart. I had to go peek. Our, our color is gray. Noah is on the hunt for like a couple more things. for No, this would actually have been cool for your plants. Oh, it is dented. I know, and that would bother you. It's smooshed. It's smooshed. But I'm looking for a few more things for my room because we only got two of the little candle holder things, and uh, I have three fake plants. To maybe, go my shelves. maybe we can remember this time to put the footage at the end of this video, and everybody can see your room and the progress that you have made because you have done a great job. I like this. I like this. You like that? I like that? I like this. This is Bath and Body Works. This is Bath and Body Works. It's stuff very today. cute. Please, Noah. They don't fit my decor. They're kind of. They look a little cheap. They look cheap. I think right there is a good example. You have such a discriminating eye. I'm very particular about what I want on my shelves. E. Colo. 2020. Those are really cute. It's ten dollars for the set, but of course I do get the forty percent off. So it's six dollars for the set. I feel like those are good for resale. I'm gonna grab those. All right? Is it just me, or did you guys see a banana when you first looked at this? I swear it was a banana head. You see it? That'd be funny though. <laughs> That's a pretty willow tree. $14.99 around you to 2012. It's just, it's nice, nice sentiment there. What do you see? These little houses I always say I like. These are old England's classic cottages. I don't think there's a lot of value in those. Like oh, them. look at all these wannabe Yadros. 
You're not even marked. Who are you? Well, I don't know. And we are made in Taiwan. Vintage, but not valuable. Is that a Mrs. Albie, though? Mrs. Albie, I would recognize you anywhere. You're a 1988 Mrs. Albie. This was uh, an award given out to those who reached a certain sales le level called President's Club. Mrs. Albie was the very first Avon lady, and that's why she is memorialized. I know I was veering towards that, too. She was memorialized in the awards that they give out. They're selling it all as a, as a set. It's got yep. nothing on the bottom. Yeah. It's not, it's not very high end. I like it though. It's it cool. is cute. It'd be hard to put anything in the bottles because that handle doesn't move. So there is that too. You'd just be able to put it as bottles. Can't take the bottles out? Mm, you could, and then what would you put in it? More bottles. More, <laughs> gosh. What you got? Uh, I have no idea. It is a piece of glass with a riggery applied on there. It's not bad. It's actually better quality than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I am contemplating this one. Um. Hmm. It's got a nice weight to it. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. And for $6, I think we'll go ahead and get it what this is next to it. This is a little praying boy, like a bookend. It is Viking. But these don't have a lot of value, unfortunately. What's this, Noah? It's kind of a cool purpley vase. It's almost like a hobbyist piece. I kind of like it. It's got a similar design to some of the paintings I got. To put right? Up yeah, it's like an acrylic pour kind it of a. Have a very flat bottom. I know that's what I was just noticing. It is a little. It's a little off wobbly. See how it leans? I'm a little worried about that. The price is right, but I think we're gonna leave it. We got some ocean decor. What does this do? It opens. Oh, it holds uh, necklaces. Or keys. Or key. Or keys. Yes. These is where my eye That's actually, it's kind of cute. It's twelve nine. It yeah, it's twelve ninety nine though. Not that cute. It's not that cute. Who makes you oven proof made in Japan? These are actually vintage little shell dishes here. Hmm. Six dollars. I think these are worth fifteen to twenty. So I will go ahead and get those. Some cool glow bookends. Oh, lots of damage. Oh, I like those too. Yeah, that's too bad. They are cool. I wonder if set doesn't have damage. What are you finding? Happening Hoppers Catch of the Day from 1999. He is pretty cute. Oh, is this more? Hmm. Now this one looks like it could even be like a Matt's Jonathan, but I'm not, I am not seeing anything on there that would say that. And it is, look at that, one is red tagged and one is purple tag. Yeah, they're not, I could, I could be passing up something good, but it's okay, it's okay. Let's take a peek at you. Newer. It's 20 bucks. Just some nice little crystal pieces. I like that candle holder. Oh, what are you? That's a very Mary Engelbright look, but it's a Hand painted by Milson and Louise. I don't really like do anything with clocks, so That's I'm not though. I'm not gonna pick it up. That is stone. It's kind of nice too. Oh, oh, 
You're looking at the little Howard Miller. It's heavy. That's very heavy. It's brass. It's a brass clock. Oh, now this one, this one's worth picking up. Let's see. Are you clean? You are. Hello Kitty would be $6. Can you un... Oh, it is unzipped. Oh, it's nice and clean. Oh, for sure. Hello Kitty is going in the cart. Noah found, Noah found something that he likes. I don't think it fits in my room though. Doesn't fit because you don't have room? I don't have room for tall stuff and it doesn't, it doesn't fit the decor. Oh, and it's but got I, a red tag at 15, which really is not like bad. That. that is cool though. And I almost missed these little jade tree grapes. Hmm, this one actually feels like it might be jade. I don't know what the grapes though. I can't tell if they're plastic or glass. Because they're, I guess they are. They're cool to the touch. It's just my hand is cold and it's yeah, those cold, cold to cold. Yeah, it is $12.99 minus 40%. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. All right, we're heading over to the kitchen section. We got a Betty Boop canister from 1999. That would be $6. It's it's plastic. But then I'm noticing this big temptation chip and dip. Pretty fabulous, but it is $25 and not a fun shipping item. Uh-oh, what did Noah find? What'd you find? A milk frother. You have a frother. I do. I got you a frother. I need to find it. You, yeah, you have one. I need to unbury it. Yeah, look at there's a spice rack set. We have a spice rack. It's in the drawer. If we, yeah. put, we actually got a spice rack, we could use the drawer and spread out more of your utensils. I'm just saying. We have too many utensils. And we've got none to fit. Crystal Bohemia, Czech Republic. Those are nice. Let's see what we've got up here. Would you like a pie? I put Noah is trying to serve me a pie. He says, I put a spell on you and now you're mine. Hocus pocus. It would be six dollars after the discount. Eight dollars on the little meow mug. <laughs> Which better have my coffee. That is not nice. That is not nice. Alright. Ooh. Is this new? I don't want to buy a used one, but I like this one. I really like this. Oh, that's just a sticker somebody put on it. I can get one and put a sticker on it myself. This is cool. Oh, what'd you find now? Mezzaluna with cutting board. Oh, it's got a blade oh, that and it's into the cutting board. Oh, that that is kind of cool. And it's good for chopping up herbs because it has like that divot. Right, right. How much is it? Uh, so it'd be six bucks. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Grab it. Let's see what else we can find. Nothing exciting. That's a pretty picture with the etch on it. Oh, this is all that's left of the uh, amber glass. Pretty little oil and vinegar by Temptations. You don't see too many Temptations oil and vinegars. You see other things. I almost kind of want to get that. I like it for six dollars. Yes, let's put that in the cart. And then that is a left an egg. It is half price, but it's still, these just don't do a whole lot. I was waiting for you to turn that over so I could see who makes it. Oh, we're going to be drinking lots of oh, chocolate no. for uh, Christmas. Are we? Yeah. All right. I'm okay. down. I'm down. We still have that stove top hot chocolate that we have to... Made in Romania. What do you put in this, though? Candle? No. And this is like a candle snuffer? No. No, no, no. I think it's... I think it's for butter, actually. I think it's a, like a little butter bell. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody in the comments will tell me. Oh, 
rolling a really loud cart out. It's kind of cute. This whole little display there. I know it's it's got it's flat. It's just it's made to look like it's got texture. I don't see anything else super exciting in the art. It's all very very modern, like you would find at Home Goods and such. It's kind of interesting. And that's kind of interesting, but yeah, not so much. Over here, we have some car art, some horse art, and some dog art. Look at these little coasters. A house is not a home without a dog. Ain't that the truth? There are four of them with a little West Highland white terrier. They would be six dollars. I think I can get 15 for those. I will grab them. Butterfly tray. We usually do pretty good here on senior day. Ooh, I see something pretty. Something that I really don't want to sell if I buy it. I went to put this in my bathroom because it is beautiful and it's half price. It's gray tag. Six fifty. I need that. I like the oh that's got a really nice interior yeah okay it'd be six dollars I'm not sure how I feel about I guess it's elephants right is that elephants yeah all right all right we'll get it it's got elephants all right Noah's off to go get cart number two I like this it came from Hobby Lobby it's a little pricey a little pricey Lots of clear glass here. Means it must sell. If it didn't sell, they wouldn't curate and bring it over to this store. Another little box. That's a pretty modern one from Hallmark. Dream. That is a cool leather covered decanter. It would be half price, $6.50. They are usually made in Italy. These actually are great decorator pieces. This one's in really good shape too. So for $6.50, I think that's going in the cart. What do you think of this piece, Noah? Give me a second. That's an odd piece. <laughs> it's kind of it odd. It looks like an eye for a second there. I, I know, yeah. It looks from, like an eye. I'm it's not, not, I think this is meant to be like a curtain, like a big substantial curtain, I don't know. A curtain thing, a uh, drape, what do you call it? Yeah. No, no, I don't know the name. Right? Because it looks like, I don't know, I could be wrong or it could just be a decorative wood piece. At any rate, I don't think we're going to get it. And then there's an antelope for $10. I've done really well with these animal head wall hangings and silver tones are in for the millennials uh so for six dollars we'll, we'll grab him too noah's being funny i handed him something asked him if he had it he waited like eons to say no i don't have it i didn't have it <laughs> little birdies music box san francisco music box company the anna rosa collection no, nothing too exciting. I bet that had a um, hear no evil and speak no evil that went with it. They usually come in threes. This looks like some lusterware. This one is made by Celebrate made in Germany. Oh, usually they're made in Japan. That's very interesting. Got some more crystal pieces. I always like the etched glass stuff like that. Do you? I'm not a huge fan of those. I would never put it in my room because it doesn't fit any of my decor, but I like them. Ah. Hey, do we have a. Oh, oh, he's articulated. Oh. <gasps> Oh, 
Look at him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's he's a little he's he's not very high quality. He, that's like plastic. But he's cool. All right, we're gonna leave the fish. What you got? <laughs> This looks like a Germany piece. Ooh, it's very schmushied. Very schmushied. Yeah, they do. They make they make everything with those. I don't like them. That's an interesting little jewelry holder. They make a good display piece at the store, actually. How much is that, Noah? Can you be my hands, please? It is twelve nine. Oh, it's no gray is half price. Purple is not. So it's twelve. It's twelve ninety nine minus forty percent. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. It was a good thought, but I don't actually need it. What is this little guy? LED acrylic light. Is it a bear? Ah, it's really bad when you look at it and you go, uh, I don't know what that is. Find a wax warmer. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is it a Scentsy? Got a, usually they have the um, Scentsy over by where the plug comes in, if it's going to have it. Or somewhere on the bottom, or, or not. Oh, it is Scentsy. See, it says it up on the little dish on the top. It is a Scentsy. That is a really cool one, actually. I... Yeah, the price is a little borderline because I usually can sell most of them for in the 20 to 25 range. So even, let's see, that's going to make it um, like seven or eight bucks. Like if I could get 25 for it, I'm, I'm solid. But if I only get 20 for it, I'll lose a little bit. But either way, it's kind of beautiful and I feel like somebody would really like this piece. So I'm going to go, though. I'm going to go ahead and get it. I like it anyways, even if it is heavy. Laundry gathers here. <laughs> yes, cars. I knew you were going to look at the cars. They're just generic cars. They though. are. It's it's a Ford Escape. Like, um... But they are the high quality ones where, like, everything moves. Yeah, I mean, it is, but... It, yeah, it's a Maisto. But it's just funny. It's a Ford Escape. I guess it's not funny for the person who has a Ford Escape and thinks, Oh, we got a cute little car that looks just like our car. That's kind of interesting. It's not signed. That like, oh, yes it is. It's uh, Justin Austin. It's oh, it's an Austin Productions. Ooh, that could change. They want 30 for it and there is no discount. Mm. All right, let's see what they have over here in the little Halloween section. Those look I was going to say Rainforest Cafe sure is. They're little Rainforest Cafe froggy. We haven't been there in a while. We usually just go on my birthday. We should go on Rachel's birthday. We should have gone on. We didn't. That's April. So we can either go on Rachel, my birthday or we wait birthday. for April. I don't know. What do you think about these guys? I kind of, I'm kind of digging them for six bucks. I feel, I feel like there's some profit margin there. Oh, it is the set too. Yeah. Let's grab them. Uh, turkey pumpkins? They're turkey pumpkins. turkey pumpkins. They're turkey pumpkins. Look, turkey pumpkins. they're turkey pumpkins. Right? Am I seeing that right? I think I am. But he says there's a pumpkin inside the turkey pumpkins. <laughs> Is there, wait, what? There's a pumpkin oh, the there's a little, pumpkin. there's a, wait, are they both? What is that? It's a little, it's a That's little just up. something somebody stuck in there. Maybe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, somebody, Weird. somebody just stuck that in there. Weird. Oh, what's this cute little guy over here? What is he all about? He is a little candy jar. Okay, look at the spider next to him. Yeah, he's weird. I like him though. Does he have a name anywhere? I don't know. Let's see. Kitchen worthy. Like he's just yeah, he's just decorative. He's fun. He's fun. Oh, are those Day of the Dead? <gasps> They are twenty dollars each, though. There's her, and there's him. Hello. Goodbye. 
20 is a little too much for me to pay for that. They have their orange Christmas trees. Oh, yep. Can I resist this one? You know me and my pumpkin hoard. Minus 40%. I feel, I feel like I can resist. Okay, I can resist that one. It's not like super special or anything. What are you doing? Uh, okay. All right. That's creepy. That is a cute little pillow for $7.99. Minus 40%. I think I shall fetch that. All right. Let's take a peek. I have done really well getting jewelry here. Ooh, I like those, but they are $14.99. So even at 40% off, I'm still paying $9.00. And I think they're probably worth about 20 to 25. Oh, look at those. Those are interesting. Not high quality though. That's the thing. Oh, look at the little apples. They are cubic zirconia. Now those are half price, so those are only five bucks. I think I will grab those. I really kind of like those too. I'm not sure what that stone is. Anybody know what that stone is? Hmm. I feel like I feel like those would be good. Just because that stone is so pretty. Okay, watches. And then Oh my, not a whole lot to choose from here today. Hmm. I'll look at the box sets over there closer in a second. I noticed this one. Look at that. I love the colors on it. That is really wild. I think it is glass. If that's glass, it's fused glass. It's that's more vibrant in person than it is on camera. Pretty spectacular. Okay, I'm gonna pull that out and see because I can't tell what the price is, so I need to look at it. I'm suspecting it's gonna be $14.99 because all the other ones are, but that one, that one might be okay. That looks like a, a $25 to $30 piece to me, just right off the bat. And then see what's in the little sets here. Sometimes some of these can be vintage. Somebody just put it away and never wore it. Uh, like this is Napier. They have 20 on that one. And I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's quite worth that to me. All right, all right. I'm gonna pull out just those few pieces. You need a new hat, Noah? You know, you really should shop the good stuff. We have lots of hats. I have the hat I'm <laughs> wearing to F1. Oh, your F1 hat, yes. Yeah, I have an F1 hat. Yes. yes, okay. You know what? I think we're gonna check out. Uh, stay tuned. I will uh, lay everything out, show you everything I got, talk about it, and then we'll do a recap telling you uh, everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. Okay. It's coming up right now. It's coming up. Hello everyone and welcome to the Noah room tour. I know you've all been asking for it for quite a while now, so we are finally getting around to doing it. And I'm gonna show you around my room and uh, mostly around my setup, which is right behind me right there. So parts of the room still aren't fully set up. I am, uh, we're, we're looking for the hammer to hang up a few more pieces of art, but we got my racing shelf and Yet another little racing shelf over here, which I've used to display some little Lego cars, but more importantly, I'm displaying all my VSK medals that I've earned this year. So I've gotten three first place finishes, so I have three gold medals on my wall right there, right behind my uh, sim rig. So whenever I look behind me, I see them. And then we got my helmet, my gloves, which are currently sitting out on my steering wheel because I was just driving. And then my bag of racing shoes just just behind that. This wall's looking a little bit barren, but we do have some tiles that we're going to put up. Those tiles will help mitigate the sounds uh, when I am recording for my channel and uh, help with just making this room look a little bit more decorated. And then this, for me, is the, is the main thing. This is the sim rig. This is what I do all of my sim racing on, and I actually have some new hardware arriving in uh, about five weeks time that I'm looking forward to. But you can see, got the 
that. Got the seat set up, the monitor, my uh, gloves sitting on top of my steering wheel, and this is a brand new addition to the Simrig. It is a button box, so it's got an ignition, it's got a starter switch, and it's got a whole bunch of buttons that I have bound to various different things, and then Ozzy moves his bed right next to me while I'm racing and uh, watches. Uh, over here we have my desk with my computer. Still a little bit of a mess, but I have cable managed more than I used to. It is all zip-tied together, so this is as organized as I could get it without uh, something like cable sleeves or anything of that sort. And then here we have the computer. I have a, a Gatorade because I've been I've been sweating and, uh, and exercising a lot because that sim rig is uh, quite intense. And then we got the microphone I use for all of my recording just folded up over here on the side. Looking over just a little bit over here we have a temporary desk solution or a temporary little table with a couple things on it. These I have out because I'm getting ready to add some stuff to the sim rig. Uh, things that will need a lot of mounting equipment and uh, in here is just all of my various mounting tools and whatnot. These lost their stick. These are my little wall hangings. These are also going to go probably near my bed and then we have my clear visor for night racing because that silver visor is shaded that way uh that way i don't burn my eyes in the sun and then we have just my backpack for getting to the track with all my stuff over here in this little corner is a lot of unfinished stuff we have a little table that i have some future plans for it's great for pictures and it's great for displaying items so uh, that should clue you in a little bit on what it's going to be used for, but that will uh, that will not be anytime soon. And then we got this marvelous tree. We didn't have a room for it anywhere else in the house, but it just so happened that uh, my room is perfect for a little tree like this. So we put it in here. As we know, uh, I love fake plants. And then over here is the little messy corner. This is where... I've got all of my sim hardware that I'm getting ready to uh, getting ready to install stuff on the rig with, so it's a bit of a mess, but this will all get hidden into the closet and uh, tucked neatly in a corner once I have it. And then uh, hopefully I'm planning on getting this steering wheel hooked up to the sim rig itself. That way I can drive vintage cars with a vintage steering wheel. It would be very, very nice. Little dog water bowl for Ozzy that gets filled and cleaned and then we have my shelf right here that's still missing a few things but you can see what I've done with some of the pieces that we've picked up on the boutique trips there's the star there's the little candle holders and uh, these plants are not actually something I picked up at Goodwill these were donated to me by one of the vendors at the good stuff thrift store they came with a little bottom piece but we found that they actually fit perfectly in the candle holders so it looks really nice like that and i don't see why i shouldn't set it up that way uh, then just going a little bit more to the right we have my shelves of little fake plants and wooden things and uh, some of the art that rachel painted for me ozzy on the left right there and uh, peanut on the right beautiful pieces of art that i got for my birthday a while back actually two different birthdays and they're still here and uh, hopefully will always be because they are very very nice pieces and then this was made for me a while back it was a gift and uh, it has not gone unnoticed because it is one of the big pieces in my room that I just love looking at it's got a little fake plant in the middle it's got the dream catcher design that I like uh, my helmet has a dream catcher design so it's a uh, it's it's fitting it's very fitting. And moving over here, we have my lamp. A little bit of a mess on the floor. Just uh, stuff that I don't have a place for yet. A mouse pad, some shelves that we need to hang, and my stepper that I use for exercising. We have this painting on the wall that's looking still just a little bit barren. It needs more here, and I'm not sure quite what I want to do because putting a shelf right over your bed doesn't always seem like the safest option. I'd rather not uh, risk things falling down and hitting me while I sleep. So I'm trying to work out what I can hang here that uh, would be nice uh, for that. 
But other than that, we're going to go look a little bit farther into the room. And just over in my bathroom, we do have some of the wall hangings that, uh, that Danny picked up for me. So they are very nice. And then, uh, so that is all there really is to it. That is my room. That's everything that I've got going on in here. And, uh, hopefully we're going to get it a little bit more decorated. I do just need to find a hammer and get some nails. And then I can, uh, hang up a few more pictures that I've got waiting and, uh, set up those little, uh, what are those? I forget what they're called. The little, uh, little pictures of Ozzy. Little pictures of Ozzy and me. Those need to go up on the wall. But other than that, the room is looking very complete. I'm very happy with it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed getting a little look at it. Hey, Boosh. Boosh, Boosh. Guess what time it is? It's time to go over our hall. Do you care? There's no cats. There's no birds. There's just fish and frogs this time. All right. We're going to deep dive into the things that I purchased on this little shopping trip. And uh, I'm sure he'll throw his opinion in there occasionally. Right? No, she's not in here right now. Are you talking to me? Are you, you talking to me? <laughs> here is our hall. I just have the most fun at going and finding treasures. This always looks different. You too? Yeah. I wish I could take you with me. That'd be fun. Uh, so we got some treasures. This shell, I don't know if it's meant to be a candle holder or just like a dish. It's very shallow here and then kind of raises up in the back. It is a majolica. Uh, usually you see these with frogs or panda bears or turtles. Uh, but you don't generally see them with fish, so I thought that was pretty spectacular. And I figure there's somebody out there who decorates with the ocean decor like I do. Uh, page $12.99 minus 40%. Now, I haven't done the math on my little sheet here. So what does that come out to? That is uh, like $7.80, something like that. Uh, and it is worth $25 to $30. I just bought these because they're so cheerful and the price was right because I got the set for just six dollars after the discount they are e Ecolo Ecolo and I can't find too many listings with this cheerful yellow canister there would have been a third one that made the set but that's okay uh 30 to 40 for that set of canisters I may list them individual I'm not sure yet I'm not sure mm. And, and I, can't, I can't really wait for your comments because I have to get them listed for when this video comes out. I think I'm going to separate them. I'm going to separate them, so that, but the total value is $30 to $40. So if you go to find these in the nicheladyshop.com, note that there will be two separate listings. Well, this piece I was pretty excited about, and I don't know how I missed it. I don't know. It does have some chipping at the rim, and somehow... I completely missed that, and I don't know how. I think I was focusing on the riggery being intact, and I was looking all at the bottom, and then I totally missed the little chipping and and the roughness at the top. I know it can be sanded. I know it. Can, you know there is something that can be done for that. It still does diminish the value a bit. Uh, now Blanco makes a version of this with a crackle, and. That's what I was originally thinking in my brain. It was that Blanco version, but it's not. This is, it is probably Chinese art glass, but it's just done really well. And it's pretty, and it was only five bucks. So it can't go wrong there. Now, without that chipping, it's a $30 to $40 vase. With that chipping, I've got to bring it down to about 20 bucks. Hello, kitty. Hello Kitty is always a good bet. There are so many people that just absolutely adore Hello Kitty. And this is a cute little uh, fabric purse. I could not find the exact one, but if you research Hello Kitty purses, and this is definitely 15 to 20 all day long. Most of them go for more than that. I only paid five, so I will do for the quick sale and I will put this in my shop somewhere between 15 and $20. I almost walked right by this piece, and it's pretty fab fabulous. Now, I called it glass, and uh, I don't think they are. I think these are little stone 
grapes, if you will. I'm not sure what kind of stone. Uh, maybe it's a jade. I don't know. Uh, these don't feel like glass. These actually feel like they could be jade. Um, this is actually a really, really nice little jade tree. Some of them are made from glass. I don't think this one is. It's very, very nice. Again, it was that $12.99 minus the 40% brings it to about $8 and it is worth $40 to $50. I think I was just confused by the, the color and I thought it was half off, but it's not. It's still, it's okay. It was 40% off. So I paid $6 for the Temptations Oil and Vinegar. Ooh. How come your little top isn't on? Oh, there it goes. That's how you put that on. Uh, there are some out there. It, there's not a lot out there, and they do sell in the $25 to $30 range. Are you looking for pistachios? <laughs> I knew it. These are just cuteness. Cuteness. Somebody with a West Highland White Terrier is going to want these. There is one that has a little chip and a little discoloration. I should have looked at the whole set when I was buying them. That's the only one. It's got a little ring on it. Yeah, they're not perfect. Uh, it was kind of an impulse buy because of the dogs. Now again, $6. This is probably one I should have left behind. In perfect condition, we're looking at 15 to 20. With that bit of damage there, I'm going to have to ask less for them. I'll probably just put them into the shop for like 10 to $12 and recoup my money on those because somebody will still love them. They just are not in the condition I thought they were in. Here is the carved wood box without all the stuff on it so you can see the little brass inlaid elephants. Trunks up. And I just love the interior of this. This burgundy colored kind of a crushed velvet just makes this a really, really nice decorative piece. It's really ornately carved, paid six, and it is worth 20 to $25. Now this piece was half price. It is a leather, leather wrapped bottle. It is made in Italy and it's got a really nice mid-century decorative look to it. Uh, it was half price, it was $6.50, and it is worth 20 to 25. The gazelle, I called it an, an, what's the difference between a gazelle and an antelope? Is a gazelle an antelope? Like a, is it like, you know, like a tortoise is a turtle, but a turtle isn't a tortoise kind of a thing? I don't know. Uh, he's super cool. The silver tones are in right now, especially with the millennials. He is worth about $25 to $30, and I paid six. Noah spotted this one. It is a wax warmer. It is Sensi. The Sensi is labeled on the lid. The color on this is so spectacular. Uh, this is known as, let's see, chromatic rainbow crushed glass mosaic. Boy, that's a lot of words. Uh, it is worth $40 to $50, and uh, we paid about 8 bucks for it. So good score, Noah. Good eye. I am going to keep this piece. It's out here just to talk about it a little bit. It is just a piece of Chinese art glass, as you can pretty much see by the bottom there. But it's gorgeous, and I love it, and it's a great decorative piece. If I was going to sell this piece, it would be worth... 25 to $30. So I am happy with the purchase, but I definitely am keeping this in my bathroom for a while. And I know I really need to get caught up and do a little house tour video very, very soon. I knew who this guy was because we go to the Rainforest Cafe quite a bit. Uh, there it is on the bottom. Uh, it's a little harder for us to get to the one here in Vegas now. They moved it. It, it used to be inside the MGM Grand, which wasn't easy to get to, but it was easier than it is now. Now you have to walk through an entire mall from the parking lot to where the restaurant is. It's it's kind of a hassle. So we don't go there very often. Uh, but we do we do love the Rainforest Cafe and the ambiance of it all. These souvenir glasses I picked up for six bucks and they will sell for 25 to 30. 
the little Halloween pillow. Let me move that out of the way. He was just cute. He's adorable. I originally thought I was going to sell him in my Halloween sale that I did. And then uh, it, it just the timing because I needed to make this video. So I couldn't ship him before I made this video. So here he is. He will be in a whatnot sale this coming week. Uh, either Monday or Thursday. I do my sales Monday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And in one of those sales this week, I'm going to throw some more Halloween stuff. It's probably going to be Monday. I got to tell you, I think like Monday's the day I've got to get this stuff shipped out and get it to people so they have time to decorate and do what they want, what they want with it. Uh, so Monday's going to be some Halloween. It's going to be some glass. It's going to be some pottery. It's going to be some jewelry. I'm mixing it up. Uh, but that's where he will be. Uh, he will go in the nichelady.shop.com. Let me just say this. It is Saturday as I am filming this. He'll be in the nichelady.shop.com for, uh, well, until Monday when I do the whatnot sale. So there is time for somebody to go grab him. Uh, but if not, he's coming out of the shop and he's going on whatnot. I got a few pieces of jewelry, including these cute little cubic zirconia are they apples or cherries? I'm still not certain. They could go either way. Either way. Uh, they are 14 karat gold filled, made in Korea. That's what it says on their little card. Uh, I paid five bucks for them. I'm going to say they're worth 12 to 15. This piece right here is absolutely a stunning piece of fused glass. I knew it when I saw it, that if that was glass, I am picking that up because it's absolutely gorgeous. I paid the $12.99 minus that 40%, making it about $8. And we'll get $25 to $30 for that piece. And then these little earrings I went back and forth on. Um, they're $5, but what I have found out is I think they are, okay, I'm finding a couple different things that they could be. Larimar or Amazonite or Blue Chalcedony. So I don't know, how do you determine between those three potentials which they could be? Hmm, they are a beautiful, beautiful blue stone. That's what I know about them. And so depending on what kind of stone they end up being, they could be worth $40 plus. So. I have to continue to do my research and just figure out what that stone is and uh, what these are actually worth. I know they're pretty. I know that much. And they're nicely made. Oh, the shell dishes. Somehow the shell dishes did not get on my list. Oven proof, made in Japan. I don't even remember what I paid for these. Hmm. Does anybody remember what I paid for these? Because I've already peeled the uh, price stickers off. Actually, Rachel did. So that's uh, that's in, that's that's interesting. I have to go back and uh, and look through and see. Did I even film myself buying these? I don't think I did. Hence, why it's not in 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 my notes. Uh, yeah, stand by. Okay, Noah seems to think that they were like $9.99 for the pair. So they would have been six bucks. And that sounds about right. They are worth about 15 to $20 for the pair. I have a naughty little bird that has been tugging at my shirt this whole time because he's been right behind me. Why do you screech? Why do you do it? What? What? Oh my. Oh, peekaboo. You want to play peekaboo? Peekaboo. Oh, he's so funny. He looks so scraggly right now still. I can't wait till he finishes his molt. Uh, but uh, it is what it is, right? We don't judge looks around here, right? Rachel's not coming in right now. You just have to deal with me. Do you want a pistachio? Oh, see, he knows we're almost done. He's so smart. He knows the routine. All right, we are done. Stay tuned for the regular recap now where it is all summarized. There will be a grand total at the end. And uh, you, go be profitable and make it fun. Make it fun. 
One day he's going to say it. He's going to say it.